right, hello there everybody. Welcome to the micro shop. Here in this episode, I'll be showing you a new knife and sheath that I just made. Hope you enjoy, keep on watching. And here is a close-up of the sheath, and uh, uh, this is all veg tan, veg tan leather here, and uh, I uh, of course hand hand tooled, hand stitched, and this is a dark uh, kind of looks black maybe in the in the camera, but it's actually a very dark dark brown, and uh, I think it uh, I think it turned out really well. Um, so anyway, just uh, kind of a glimpse at the at the sheath here, you can kind of get an idea of what. Uh, what it looks like a little bit closer and uh, I'm just gonna take the knife out and uh, just talk just a little bit more about the sheath this is the first time for this sheath that I have done a fully lined sheath and as you can see here this uh, lighter brown out here is uh, a different leather this is actually pig pigskin leather and uh, what it's uh, what I did is just uh, glued it glued it on before uh, before I put it together like that, glued glued it all on and uh, secured it that way. And so it just uh, makes a nice, very, very smooth, protective inner layer for the the sheath. And it protects the knife very well. And so anyway, that's uh, the first time I've ever done a lined, a lined sheath. Also, you can see here I put a, see if the camera will pick it up, but there's actually just a small wedge of leather that goes from about uh, there to there and that's just to accommodate just a little bit more width in the handle of the knife well let's take a look at the knife here now okay here here is the knife now I got this blade from knifemaking.com uh, and uh, also known as Jance, Jance Supply um, of course I have been making some of my own blades but I uh, had this blade uh, lying around so I thought uh, hey it's time to put a handle on it so this is a nice uh, 440c stainless uh, blade full flat grind as you can see here and uh, really really nice blade really comes comes really sharp it's a very 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 nice blade a little bit about the wood of this handle here this is African black wood and I've used African black wood before it's a very very nice wood uh, just the very pleasant smell when when grinding you know just a very very nice wood to work with and just has that very very nice dark dark look which uh, complements the the sheath really well as you can see here uh, of course then uh, two two small brass pins three thirty second pins and uh, this wood here is uh, also from Africa it's called Paduic Paduic and uh, just a nice reddish brown wood great contrast as you can see here with the dark wood and the light wood and uh, then I believe these are 3 16 inch pins and uh, one of the neat a aspects of this knife as well you can see is there's uh, liners on the knife um, I put, uh, see if we can get that to focus, there we go there's blue blue liners on this uh, knife and so I think it uh, has a nice little accent there and I did that in order to keep the two pieces together as I glued them I uh, glued the glued the two chunks of wood together and used the liner then to uh, secure that all together before then uh, putting the scales on to the knife in one piece. And so anyway, uh, this is the knife here, my latest knife, latest project to come out of the micro shop. And uh, anyway, I hope uh, I hope you enjoy it. Hope you enjoyed seeing this. Uh, I think it turned out pretty well. Uh, just uh, leave me a comment. Love to see. What, uh, what do you think? Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, if you like the knife, and I'd love to, love to hear your comments on what you think about this knife. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here on New Man Explore.